Well, I meant to get... I meant to get that video, but apparently the audio is not working, so we'll screw that, and good morning, Wadib. It's good to be back. So getting everything ready for this was actually, uh, turned out to be a lot more work than I was expecting. So sorry for the delay on all that, and that should be better. Let's go ahead, and we'll run through everything real quick. Turn off that intro. So it's 40 years after XCOM. When Cydonia fell, something was activated deep under the oceans. So let's see what we got. I'm running uh, Meridian's Open XCOM Extended SGDQ. What is that? Oh, yeah. No, we have not been able to get downtown yet. Unfortunately. I know a lot of... Well, we might lose some viewers to that. But unfortunately, there was a huge storm last night, so we're running a little bit early today, too. It's going to normally be around noon my time, so about an hour from now. The nap schedule has changed over the break. Uh, but yes, OpenXCOM Extended. This is Meridian's custom OpenXCOM Extended branch that he made for pirates. And it has a lot of really awesome things that we're going to take advantage of that just increase the, the the quality of life as we were talking about before and uh there'll be there's something that's not really made for tftd yet and we'll go through what we have so i'm using uh, cooper's psi amp line of sight i just need to change it to mind control disruptor but basically uh we now have to have line of sight to use the mind control in terror from the deep it doesn't affect the aliens at all I spent a lot of time working on a rebalanced Gauss mod, and I will explain that in a bit. Uh, these are just to get the language files to not make everything pirate speak. <laughs> Part of Meridian's mod. Uh, Zarbite flares. I've basically just moved moved the Illyrium flares over and changed them to Zarbite. And I have some colored armors that I'm not quite happy with that we'll work on later. But they're just our four squads. So there's going to be melee armor or melee colors. Melee breach support and standard we have stat strings as always cooper smoke it works it's about 90 percent the same there's a bug i gotta fix with above uh, dry land smoke but it, it it works just fine extra explosion spent a lot of time on these there's so many different explosion colors above and below water um aliens pick up weapons i was looking through the final mod pack mod after we finished and they all had pickup values so that's why they were picking them up and i liked it actually so we'll turn it on for the default weapons and then strategy core swap small ufos uh in the original game the small ufo and the well the two small ufos were swapped based on what you saw on the radar and what was actually on the ground so that's all that does it's not really it doesn't change anything in game and then everything else is vanilla and we're gonna do the cloning but that's gonna be out of game because I don't know how to program C++ yet although it seems pretty easy so we're gonna get started we have uh, we have 16 aquanauts set up right now and it's actually a pretty even mix we got two of each we'll go ahead and get started new game superhuman we'll do our own Iron Man and I always like starting near Japan because I got these guys in this area. And I'm never sure how much land I should cover. I assume it's mostly water because we can't attack them. As if we go... Maybe like right around here? And we'll get another one in uh, the Indian Ocean. We'll do the Western Pacific. And let's go and totally swap things out and just do a mirror image of our normal base. Oh shit, damn it. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. One, two, three. Thank you. 
so for those of you who haven't played this game, it is very similar to XCOM, basically. This was one of those where uh, they gave it to another team to do, and they put the whole thing together in six months. And the major differences are they made this game a lot harder, probably because of the bug in the original. And uh, they added a couple melee weapons, which was always my favorite part of this game. Well, let's get some things built right away. I'm going to put my alien containments here on this one. The only really base explosion area is that part. But for now, we'll throw an alien containment temporary one there. And uh, let's see, a little wide array sonar. There for now. And more living quarters. Always more living quarters. So let's move this one down here. We don't pay for it. Whoops. I don't think. No, oh, whatever. We'll be fine with money. Not a problem. That's temporary. And we need some more aquanauts. We've got 20 for now. Need more scientists. And things I know we won't need right away. We won't need these. Let's actually equip that craft. Dart guns. We'll go through the UFP to actually, because we're not going to do too much. The first episode is normal. Uh, I'll talk about my Gauss rebalancing as well. So here's our, our crafts. Our Triton is our standard. I think everything's the same. 14 cargo space three submersible weapon systems and in this game you can fly over the ground but you can't shoot craft down over land and it, your weapons only work underwater on the crafts we have our barracuda our standard interceptor nice and fast and then we have our weapons our ajax 60 damage 32 kilometers our dupe 110 at 50 and then our craft gas cannons which Nice, actually, pretty damn good damage. We're going to equip a craft with gas, a gas cannon, just for uh, the small UFOs. So now we have our uh, coelacanths. And this is your standard uh, harpoon bolt, so your armor-piercing guy. Everything's exactly the same. These guys might actually have a little bit more armor in this game. And your torpedo launcher. And now, so we have the dart gun, which is completely, absolutely useless at 16 damage. Sell those right away. We have our jet harpoons, which should look familiar from the final mod pack. These are our dart guns. And then we have our gas cannons. And uh, this is pretty much the standard go-to weapon. A 60 armor piercing or 65 high explosive damage. We have our Hydrojet Cannons, which are the auto cannons from the first XCOM, but these guys only work underwater. I don't typically use these that much, but we'll play around with it. The, uh, I mean, having the three-shot fire damage is useful, just the way fire damage works against highly armored targets. And then we have Torpedo Launchers, which are also underwater. So we have a lot of guys who signed out to be snipers, and it's going to be, uh, we're going to have to figure out what to do with you guys for terror missions because those are all above ground or on land dry land so we can't use our torpedoes as our snipers as we normally do we have our standard grenade at 50 damage uh, the die grenade is fixed in open xcom so it's actually useful unlike the originals where it only had smoke for one tile particle disturbance grenades are our proximity grenades and magna packs are um, are high explosives and unfortunately unlike the original game these guys become completely useless once we research the alien grenade uh, variants so they'll have a short life but we'll use them in the beginning and then our thermal tasers which is our stun rods they just call stun freezing in this version and our flares so we have all that everything is pretty much a one-to-one -one swap sonar instead of radar defenses which we might no we won't use them Alien containment, and that's it. Oh, you shouldn't be able to see that. 
<laughs> well, let's go ahead and research that Gauss technology so we can look at that Yopapedia entry, which I got to fix. So uh, one of the new things about uh, Meridian's Open XCOM Extended is we now have uh, new versus uh, scene things. So we can mark all these as scene, and we're gonna get the Gauss technology out of the way. And while that's going, let's uh, get our subs picked up. We'll have Barracuda 2 being straight up gas cannons. And Barracuda 1 being straight up Ajax, or we'll do a dupe and an Ajax for now. Stingray Avalanche. All right, so uh, dart guns are absolutely useless. And we need some more gas cannons, for sure. Uh, jet harpoons. We'll bring a couple, of, we'll have one of these on the craft. Same, we'll have a couple of those as well. And uh, we can fit 14 on here, so we can't get everyone on the craft at once in the beginning. So let's go buy some stuff. All right, and we have all these nice filters now. We can filter uh, things that are equipped or things that we don't have equipped. And we have search bars now, which would have been really nice in the final mod pack. And we'll wait for the new guys to come in and get everyone equipped with their standard gear. In the beginning, we're not gonna have too much. We have a lot of melee support and uh, grenade guys, which are pretty much all gonna be very similar in the beginning. Same thing, our snipers and uh, our breaches are gonna be pretty much the same kits. All right, let's buy some junk, let's sell some junk. And get rid of you, get rid of all of these. Flares and tasers for everyone. Let's get... We won't have too much space in the beginning anyways. Smoke. I'm sorry. Die. It's die now. I think we need two torpedoes for everyone. The uh, small and large torpedo is actually a very small difference in damage as well. In this version of the game. A couple more gas cannons. I typically... Uh, don't even use the jet harpoons, but we'll get a couple of them. I think they might have a better snapshot, which will make it better for the breachers. Let's get a total of 10, yeah. Gas cannons are nice because they have the explosive damage. And uh, if you think back to the last XCOM game, we only had one enemy that had really good armor. And that was, uh, oh, resistance, I should say, is a sectopod. The mutons had pretty good armor and resistance, but now we're going to have guys that have either over 100 armor in the front or uh, the lobster men, which take the best thing to hit them with, well, outside of the stunning, uh, the best weapon to hit them with, you only do 50% damage, and that's with the alien weapons. With Gauss, you do 30%. Armor piercing, you do 20% damage. So you have a guy that you just can't do much damage to. And that's sort of why we did the Gauss rebalance. Here, let's get that Gauss researched real quick. All right. I'm waiting for a mission. Should have an alien research mission and a terror site gotten ready. All right. So... Uh, Gauss technology. Attempts to use the advanced weaponry developed during the first alien war have proved rather unsuccessful. Plasma weapons, when fired underwater, experienced rapid oxidation followed by a rather energetic disassembly. The laser, laser weapons worked well as long as the target was less than half a meter away and absolutely stationary. The basic concept, however, is sound. Accelerating a small piece of matter to near relativistic speeds should combine the best of both worlds, a highly accurate projectile that imparts a substantial amount of energy into its target. Our current prototypes have shown that the materials available to produce projectiles are unable to withstand the extreme forces of their acceleration without, without some minor fracturing. That said, each of these fragments have proven more lethal than anything we currently have in our arsenal. Until we can develop some more resilient materials, we will have to deal with suboptimal performance. So that's my introduction to how I balance Gauss. So in the original, 
There was no reason to use Gauss because the heavy cannon did the same damage. Almost everything was less resistant to armor piercing damage than Gauss. And you had you had eight shots in a clip versus 15, but that was really the only difference. Or the gas cannon, not the heavy cannon. So what I did is uh, I have two tiers for Gauss weaponry. The first tier, everything is frangible, which means everything has shotgun pellets. And I know I said I hate shotguns and they serve no purpose, but I figured out how they work. <laughs> All right, our first stores are done. Let's go ahead and build uh, some more stores. We got to get these out here anyways. So the way it works is the center projectile in the shotgun blast in Open XCOM is treated as a normal bullet. So if something, if you have 100% to hit something, and let's assume if you're going to hit something with a non-shotgun pellet versus the same shotgun pellet, same accuracy, that center one's going to hit it. It's going to hit or do the same exact thing. It's the pellets, the other pellets that will spread out and form a cone around where you're aiming. So what I've done is I've uh, left the damage in the first tier alone because for the starting guys, Gauss is actually a nice a nice weapon to have because it has better ammo. But for the later guys, you can't even pierce their resistances. So the starting weapons have... Alright, well, we got this guy. Let's go ahead and take him down. And we're still waiting on our Aquanauts, aren't we? Alright. Let's go ahead and get the first set named. And so, um, to get back to what I was saying... First tier is same damage. The pistol has three fragments. The uh, rifle has two fragments, and the heavy gauss has two fragments. Uh, the rifle I gave four round auto shot, and I gave I turned the heavy gauss into like the heavy machine gun from Final Mod Pack. Heavy machine gun does six shots, but you can take a step or two before you fire, so it's seventy five percent time units instead of the ninety. So it's a little bit more mobile, so I cut the rounds down by two. And then there's another tier of Gauss weapons, or of Gauss ammunition, which removes the frangibility of the rounds, except for the pistol. It goes from three to two, and it does about 50% more damage. So for the guys where you couldn't even pierce the armor, or the damage resistance, with the standard weapons, you can at least do some damage with the Gauss. And if you're lucky with the heavy Gauss, you can take out, if you're... <laughs> if you're lucky enough to get directly behind a lobster man and get all six shots hit with the heavy gauss, you can kill a lobster man. On average. Not guaranteed. So it has a uh, purpose throughout the game, which is what I was looking for. All right, let's get back to our naming. I'm just going to go, uh, I just have my list set up right now. So let's see here. All right, Chot likes melee. Man, these guys are all really bad. Alright, we start with the reactions. So we'll have... I have two breachers right now. Pratt and me. Are you your reaction to? Oh, we got three reactions. Alright. And then we'll do... The strong guys will be, let's see. We have uh, the option. Now, let's see. We have Drex Newman, who wants to be heavy weapons. And we have, let's see here. Weak, weak. Coward, weak. Wow, these guys are... <laughs> Slim pickings. We have one who wants to be a sniper here. Alright, I have Butterfly Spin Art as a rookie cookie. One of our snipers. Uh, rookie cookie. And then, uh, well, let's see. Weak, 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 weak. How weak are we talking? 23, 26. Well, I'll take our least weak guy. Oh, that's Rookie Cookie. 23. Yep. 
All right. Um, Wadib, you're a grenadier. We won't be using high explosives yet. I'm sorry. Magna pack explosives. Just yet. All right, and they're both weak. So we can have... Oh. Get our scouts. Which our scouts and our breachers are going to be pretty much the same setup right now for the time being. Well, actually, everyone's going to be pretty much the same setup right now. Whatever you can pick up off the ground. We have Rocket Raichu as Aqua Doge. And I'm going to call you Aqua Dog. <laughs> And YK1 as sheep stick. And they want to be scouts. And I think that's everyone. Yeah, for the time being. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be... Uh, I don't know. It might not be so bad now that smoke grenades work. Let's get just the craft loaded. At least get a grenade for everyone. A little extra for the grenadier. Uh, small torpedoes. While well, we're working on our strength, since I don't do that much difference. Six. Alright. We're really going to be dealing with what people can pick up for right now. Alright, and I'm going to take me a, a little while till I get everyone's names and gear figured out. Right, you're a scout. That's not so bad. Oh, did I buy more smoke? Yeah. Whew, that would have been a problem. Let's copy this for right now and at least get everyone. Rex is heavy weapons. So we're going to give you a nice and heavy and uh, probably a bad idea to start off with. Do I have high explosive on those? Oh, I should have bought those. We'll do that in a sec. But for now. Oh, so it is. You can almost pick everything up. There's no point. Well, we can't save them yet. Sheepstick is a scout. Yep. So, just so I know, my shaft scouts are going to be doing double duty as melee this round. Melee grenadiers. Grenadier? And as Grenadier, you get the uh, distinction of being first off the craft. Actually, it would be better here, wouldn't it? Alright, you're a sniper. So can you pick this up? Yes, you can. Excellent. There we go. Grenades are actually lighter. That's nice. Oh, I forgot to rename you. Oh, what are you? You're a weak. I need a rifleman. So, Glark. If you can pick up a gas cannon, we're going to use a gas cannon. You cannot. <laughs> All right, so I know. Hold on. Let's uh, see how much I need to pick up. 25. Uh, yeah. I... Okay, well, high explosive rounds are heavier, but we'll give you the gas cannon. And we have Pratt is a breacher with me. I mean, if you can pick it up, 
Now we'll go with you. Aquado, Aquadoge, I'm just gonna call you Aquadoge. Right, you're a scout, so I got my scouts here. They're basically, uh, as the name implies, there are dogs. <laughs> All right, and we'll give you an extra grenade. I think that'll work. Alright, I can pick up a gas cannon for now. Sorry about this, this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt in the beginning. I think it'll work for now, it's a nice balance squad. I'd love to get him to land. You know, doing anything to not trigger retaliations in the first month would be fantastic. I don't want to fight lobstermen. There it is. I mean, I know he's going to land. It's an alien research mission. That's unfortunate. I chose poorly. He was going up here ish. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, return to base. We're going to have a terror real soon. All right, so the Gauss pistol. Our first attempt at applied particle acceleration is a Gauss pistol. The extremely short acceleration chamber imparts so much stress into the projectile that it tends to break apart immediately. While relatively accurate at medium range, it is absolutely devastating to poorly armored targets at close range. Okay. So let's get that clip researched. Okay. Did I not buy those people? That might have been a bad mistake. No, I didn't even click. Okay. Well, I'm an idiot. I know, it's inefficient. Let's actually, it's halfway past the month. So let's get extra soldiers. The uh, Terror from the Deep I find to be much harder to start the game or to get going because of... I don't think they changed the mission routes <laughs> in the game, so putting your base in the middle of the ocean is actually harder to find aliens until things really get going. All right, well, we got these guys. So let's go ahead and get everyone named. Oh, and something we can do in this one is we can reorder our Aquanauts when they're not on the sub. So I'm just going to say that's pretty awesome. And do a whole bunch of sorting. All right, so we need our two melees. I don't think I have a criteria for melee set up, now that I think about it. Here one. 
chat like Hank Van Der Veen. Chutlike and Loki are two melee specialists. Chutlike and Loki. Uh, next, I need to redo this ordering, but for now we have uh, me and Pratt. Pratt and I, uh, we need another sniper, so we have Rookie Cookie. And actually, that works perfectly. We have OBP Super Gamer. All right, next we have our, our Grenadiers, which is Mwadib and LeChuck. So let's give someone with a decent throwing accuracy. That works. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> LeChuck. And then Next on the list are the heavy weapon, which is Drex Noobman. And Kurt Lee. Oh, I'm sorry, Carbon is playing as LeChuck, and we're going to have the optional guy as Kurt Lee for heavy weapons, which is basically just an H for right now. I'll give you a brave one. No, you know, that's really good for you. All right, Kurt Lee. We have our scouts, Aqua Doge, Sheepstick, and then we have two support classes. Uh, Chris Lid, I made you support, uh, which will typically be our non-lethal guys, which is a smart move if you remember how long those guys survived in our last playthrough. So you can really be anything for these guys. We'll take our best what we got. I don't mind cowards. Some people filter out all their cowards, but I don't really care. So we'll have Chrysalid. Whoa, I can spell. Chrysalid. Clark, what are you doing down here? You are... Oh, I forgot my rifleman. That's right. Evil Eagles and Clark Griswold underneath. Curtly. Alright, uh, other support. I'm looking for energy for these guys. Now that I think about it. Oh, that's perfect. Cooper? Uh, Cooper, if you are watching... Hey, Carbon. I uh, updated your smoke mod and just linked it in your thread in OpenXCOM. It works perfectly for the non-extended version. I gotta figure out why the smoke works weird in the extended plus, but that's neither here nor there. All right, Sheepstick, Chrysalid, and we need our Rifleman, which is Galark. And who's our other Rifleman? Evil Eagles. So any sort of accuracy will do for these guys. Fifty-two, fifty-five. Yep, fifty-five it is. All right, Evil Eagles. So we are uh, preparing for uh, the terror mission, which they are absolute death in this game. And I got to figure out how the uh, troops are numbered in the Triton. And we can do 12. So... Yeah, support. You guys don't have much of a role until we get some support items. So you're going to sit this one out. We got some... Uh, 
All right, our scouts and our melee guys are going to be very similar this round. Whoop, not you. You have some space. Grab those. Ammo becomes an issue. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. Ammo definitely becomes an issue. Don't I have more torpedo launchers? I do not. I thought I bought another one. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Grenadier, you can actually... At least carry one of them. If we really need a big boom. And LeChuck is the same. He's a little bit stronger than you. And we need more grenades. Mental note. Alright. Directs Nubin, heavy weapons. We need to make sure we have spares of all of these, of gas cannons for our ground missions. Glark. Can you pick this one up? You can. Perfect. And our scouts as well. All right, I think that's good. Let's buy a couple more things and we need to get our gauss pistol researched. Ammo research for our breachers. All right, what did we have to buy? We needed to buy another torpedo launcher. A couple more smalls until we're stronger. More grenades. Oh yes, we needed HE ammo for this. I wanna make sure we have enough of these spare that's good. I think that's everything I need for right now. You know, let's get a couple of the particle disturbance grenades on our grenadiers. There we go. Oh, and the Azores. All right, it might be a nighttime mission. No, I think we'll get daytime. All right. A terror mission away. So, if we have gillmen, we have to get some gillmen alive. Crucial, crucial, crucial. And if it's aquatoid, we need a calcinite. And I don't know if we need them alive or not. You can, or in the previous versions of this game, you could totally break your game if you research things in the wrong order. I think that's fixed in this one, so I shouldn't have to worry about ordering everything in the right order. All right, we might need to uh, do some juggling. I'm not doing a nighttime terror mission uh, without any real equipment. Hopefully this will be enough. As cheesy as this tactic is, I don't feel bad at all. All right, that works for me. All right, so let's go and make sure that all our underwater weapons are replaced with above water weapons. 
Why is the torpedo launcher way less than the <laughs> the gas cannon? And those sound effects are loud. We gotta fix that. Grenades, grenades work great. Wherever you are, let's give you some more grenades. Wow, that is amazing. Congratulations, man. I admit I've never tried to avoid deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Not to that ex extent. That is really impressive. All right, we're giving everyone high explosive. As they're starting, damage type. So as I said before, this is what happens in the early game when you have the the breakup between above and below water weapons. And that works fine. And. Oh, we're using UFO extender accuracy. Oh, it, don't worry. We're actually literally just getting started. So we're just going through the equipping everyone and explaining the mod packs or the mods we're using. Uh, yeah, we're using UFO extender accuracy as well. Which, oh, I forgot to say, in my Gauss weapons, I extended the auto fire range of the pistol and the Gauss weapon. Uh, so they're 15 tiles instead of 7. And then the, like I said before, the heavy gauss is the heavy machine gun from the final mod pack. So that has full auto range, but you can only auto fire, no reaction fire or anything. Shot like, do we have more normal grenades? We do not. Alright, we'll pick up more things as we need them from the craft. Whoops. That's a bit too much. I'll give you extra ammo. Grab a spare. And Kurt. So we have two extra smoke if we need them. And carry an extra one of these to give to someone if we need them as well. All right, let's fix our sound volume. That's good. The water in the background is actually rather loud. Uh, is anyone staring directly at us? Yes. Well, now. Oh, I want to make sure I turned off instant grenades. I was testing those. And that's cheaty. Right. Initial base, building queue. Yep. 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 Realistic globe lighting. Yep. That's geoscape. Extender accuracy, inventory stats, shoulder spites. Say pre prime grenades, yes, yes, yes. Disable auto equip, yes. Instant grenades, no. Alright. So everything's pretty much the same as our final mod pack playthrough. Uh, except, oh, before I forget, let me make sure I turned off PSI strength evaluation and uh, PSI skill. Is that over here? We're using it again. Since we're going to use mind control, we are basically going to allow it to just vanilla. Yeah, no PSI strength improvement. Oh, yeah, and extended options uh, display weapon handedness. The weapon itself will say whether well, it's one or two handed. I'll show you that. Uh, wounded fight if base attacked. Extra bleeding indicator. And quick search, quick search window. All right, that works fine. So here you can see, two-handed weapon, it says right there. So we are going to go ahead and at least take you out. Thank you, Loki. <laughs> and we should be able to get that out now. Yeah, this is how a TFTD starts.
our starting weapons are fundamentally less effective against aliens in this game. I think that's a new deep one sound effect. I like it. All right, so we kill men, so we have to get a live deep one. That's our goal in this mission. Once we can get out of the damn craft. All right. So if you can see from the smoke, it has one of the heavy smoke tiles from the original in there for some reason. All right. Take a look around. I don't even see where that is. All right there. And now we also have these indicators stay as long as uh, you spotted them. They just won't flash. It's hard to tell because it's not set up for the tear from the deep pallets, which are very confusing. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get out of the craft next turn. Alright, hopefully I can get out and unarmed. Oh, well, that's not good. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill. Oh, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Crap. Oh, shit. Here, hold on. Again, I was doing some testing, so let me go save the game real quick. And I will be right back. That should be better. Yeah, so uh, when I was testing my damage balance, I wanted to see how many shots on average it took to kill things. A uh, standard Gauss rifle takes about 40 shots to kill a, a lobsterman. I do 37. I need more grenades is what I need. And more smoke. This is insane. All right, we just need to smoke it up. They are gilmen without weapons, because I think they just, uh, later on they'll have horrible things, and now they're just grenades, which also makes them a bit more terrifying at this stage of the game. Alright, if we get that done, we can focus on this guy, actually. 21. 21. Alright, I didn't get you. Alright, I'd like more smoke there, too. Why don't you guys have extra smoke? Do I have... There we go. Twelve. I'm gonna be a bit grouped up, which is unfortunate. 
Alright, that should be better. I need you to move. Alright, high explosive damage. Sorry, chat like. <laughs> it's totally my fault. <laughs> I need to, uh, apparently I need to warm up a bit to get you back inside. Are you are explosive. You are high explosive. Mental note. Let's shock to get you primed. 13. All right, we got smoke there, smoke there. All right. If you kill Chot like he has a prime grenade in hand. I'm happy with that turnout. Yes, we're using Meridian's XCOM Extended. And so this here, again, hard to tell the colors because if it's not made for tear from the deep yet, but that shows us anyone with wounds, which is really nice. Okay, so apparently things are immune to everything. <laughs> there we go. And sorry, chat like. Hopefully he doesn't move too far away. And it looked like he's a melee attack on us. I didn't know Gilman had melee. Good god. Or good job. He's Stunned him. Oh, OBP. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we know how this mission will end up. So we're going to go ahead and... <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a good... This is my tear from the deep start. This is how I remember this game going. Well, Doge... Let's see how we're doing. You are going to flip out. You're going to flip out. We have no morale on anyone. So. Didn't even make it out of the craft. If we. Uh, oh, and I still have debug mode on. Well, that's fine. We're ending the mission, anyways. Yep. We're going to go ahead and abort. <laughs> <laughs> 610, still better than minus a thousand. <laughs> uh, and more things, let me show you since we're just going to go through Meridian stuff. We can go through and see what everyone's stat gains were at the end of the mission, which is really great. Uh, this is PSI skill and this is PSI strength. And just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, me too. We did really well. Our scouts didn't even make it outside. So, one throwing accuracy, like, of importance, and one accuracy. <laughs> and we didn't get any loot, and we got a negative score. So, that is done. And we can actually sell right from this scene, or from screen, which is really nice as well. So, we're going to have to buy more stuff, since we had the inside of the craft explode on us. But congratulations on your promotions. Most people actually completely skip terror missions in this game. You land, and you take off right away. I think OBP did, and I think he killed himself. Yeah, he set it off. Now let's go to our memorial. The thing we don't have is... Uh, I think, how many kills? No? Or, let's go here, OBP. Oh yeah, because I can't look at exactly what he did. I don't have the uh, the diary. So we're going to get uh, these cloned vats warmed up. And we're going to have uh, stand-ins for now. And we'll just have these all. I'll go get these renamed later on. Yeah, getting off that craft.
All right, we got our better sonar. That's nice. We can. Oh, we can't get rid of you yet. Oh, we gotta connect this around. I wonder will we do well on. Yeah. All right, we got. We don't have to worry about funding our maintenance this month. And our Gauss pistol clip. So the uh, standard description, the Gauss pistol uses accelerated particle technology, a new development in modern weaponry. It is fast, accurate, and functions above and below water. So there we go. I guess actually meant to lower that down to 40 times 3 instead of 45. So now we have a weapon for pretty much everyone. We'll go ahead and produce these. I... No, well, I broke that. <laughs> I gotta fix that too. So we'll go back to the auto geoscape. We won't produce those right away. I didn't test that. All right. Well, that's great. Let's get the uh, Gauss rifle out of the way. See, now the downside is we can't research armor until we get the Gilman. So aborting that mission was actually kind of bad for us. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. We'll worry about the ammo as soon as I fix that. And our stores are ready. So since we have extra, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these... General store is linked up. Take advantage of the cash while I have it. All right, so everyone's kind of mad at us. We have a negative 1,000 rating. We need to do positive next month or we'd lose the game in February. <laughs> So we sort of uh, got screwed because that UFO didn't land for us. We should have shot it down. Next time, we'll just shoot him down right away. Oh, we got some cash. Go ahead, nine days, we'll get those built. They can get rid of that. Move our living quarters over by some scientists, most importantly. Go oh, right ahead and get. 30 right off, 40, fill up right off the bat. We don't need technicians too much right now. And that's our Gauss pistol clip that we can't make for some reason. Here we go, a little bit of a profit. And we're going to go until we get another mission. I hope this isn't one of those games where we don't get, we only get terror missions until March. That would suck. And at least we'll get our Gauss research taken care of. You know what? Actually, before we get another mission going, I'm going to go ahead. And I know it's a short stream today, but we'll have to fix that so we can get some Gauss ammo re uh, building so we have some half-decent weapons. And then uh, we'll continue tomorrow. So uh, time's going to be shifted around noon my time. So we'd probably be starting about now. That's th how the new nap schedule seems. <laughs> so we'll continue this. We can survive a bad month as long as something positive happens this month. We can see what's going on here. Yeah. We don't even know where they are. Let's go ahead and... There we go. North Pacific. So they should be near us. We'll send out our Triton to look around up here. I mean, we pretty much got most of the North Pacific covered. Alright, so we'll uh, continue this tomorrow with uh, working ammo production. And hopefully have a less embarrassing stream. <laughs>
All right, everyone, have a good one. I'll catch you later.